participation of the U.S. Fed is quite different. Headline, 7.5%, and core, 6%. I mentioned the core in Europe, 27 So we are in a different universe. And when I look at the expectations, inflation expectations, I see that uh, uh, the St. Louis Fed sees uh, a break-even inflation 10 years at 2.77%. So, so it's a... Uh, it's really something which uh, is uh, of the essence even more in the US. So what I expect is that they will continue along the line that they had indicated. And uh, it seems to me that it would be wise to continue. Of course, the market at the time was considering that uh, one uh, increase of uh, 50 basis point would be appropriate. I don't think that it is in the cards now because of the, again, the impact on, on growth, which is associated with the price of uh, commodities, uh, we will see. But, uh, but again, I expect the central bank in the US to do exactly like uh, what is done in Europe, but with different levels, of course, of threats uh, and of uh, inflation level, inflationary level. But, but clearly, uh, the direction should not change. Otherwise, the, the market would be lost, in my opinion. Jean-Claude, just briefly, where do you see the greatest threat to financial stability at the moment in the Eurozone? Well, uh, I, I see uh, banks, obviously, we spoke of banks a moment ago, much more solid than what they were in previous uh, major uh, crises that we have known, and we have known a lot over the last uh, 15 years. Say. So uh, I, I think that the main, main risks are not really... Uh, uh, coming necessarily from Europe, but from the enormous amount of non-banks uh, 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 capital, uh, which is in the financial sphere. I considered, and I told you that uh, in the past, that uh, we were already before the war in a situation of great vulnerability in the financial sphere at a global level because of the piling up of, uh, of uh, debt, uh, public and private, uh, all over the world, because of the uh, uh, excess at a certain moment, we had a, a, an enormous excess of uh, uh, stocks and shares, valuation and so forth. This has been corrected, uh, frankly speaking, quite a little bit, uh, but <clears throat> we are still in a vulnerable situation. And again, uh, of course, Europe uh, is part of the world, uh, closely associated with the US, and, uh, and with all the financial sphere in the world, but I don't see the major difficulty coming from Europe itself. I see really uh, more the probability of a, a global trigger, if I may, of new financial difficulties. That being said, of course, we know that, and uh, I consider, again, the central banks as being anchors of stability in this very dangerous world, and uh, I'm sure that they will demonstrate uh, the capacity of being the anchors in the world. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.